PowerPoint is a wonderful tool to create presentations and other activities for the classroom. It can be found under the Microsoft Office menu in your Start menu. If a new document or presentation is not ready for you, simply go to File and New to create one. A blank presentation is the best choice to start with. The first type of slide to be shown is the title slide. Type in the title that you would like. A subtitle can also be typed if you choose. A new slide can be created by going to Insert and then New Slide. There are different types of layouts you can choose from. Text only, media, or there are also slides with both. If the slide layout window does not appear, you can access it by going to Format then Slide Layout. Simply click on the area you want to begin typing in. Media can be added by clicking on the corresponding icon. Tables, Charts, Clip Art, Pictures, diagrams, or media clips. If you click on the clip art, you have a choice of many different pictures to insert. I'm going to look for a computer. Click on the picture you would like and click OK. Once the picture has been inserted, the size can be changed by dragging on the white dots. Be careful not to disfigure it unless that is what you are looking for. The picture can also be moved and turned by clicking on the green dot. Continue to add as many slides as you need for the presentation. Pictures can be inserted from anything in your files. Once the basic presentation has been formatted, you can change different aspects of it. One aspect that is easy to change is the background. This can be found by going to Format and Background. This one has a white background. We can change its color by any of the ones chosen or selecting more colors. There are standard as well as custom ones that you can pick from. You can either click Apply, which will apply only to one slide, or to keep the PowerPoint more smooth, apply to all to make it easier to follow. Other backgrounds can have effects. You can have shading by using any two colors. To whatever fits your theme. Textures have been preset that you can use as background. You can insert a pattern. Be careful not to make it too busy or it will make your PowerPoint presentation difficult to see. A picture could also be used as the background. Again, these can be found from your files. There are also set designs that you can use. Again, this is under Format. Go to Slide Design. There are many different themes you can use that will correspond to the whole program. 
to create the background, font type, and colors that look best with the type of format. Once you are finished with your presentation, make sure you save it to a location you will be able to find. There are other, many other items you can do with your PowerPoint, but here is a place to start.